I'm going to have a make another rubber motor for the Grillo's 128 Cessna. But I'm going to put in three loops of 1 16th. So I've just got some lovely 1 16th. And uh, we'll give it a go on that. I've also made up, I think they're called S hooks actually. That is a winding hook on the front of the prop shaft. So I can wind it with my electric winder okay i'm just feeling my way here um so i'm gonna go similar length gotta have some for the knot i'll add a little bit Oops, one loop Be a little bit more responsive right and put this i'm told it's important to keep this out of the uh out of the daylight sunlight especially so i shall pop it back in its box that it came out of which is under my desk first thing is to tie a knot silicon killer it's marketed as and uh, here in the UK I got it from Mike Woodhouse so I'm just going to put that in there and that makes it completely tieable then There's a fly in here. I've opened the window. Of course, he's too stupid to fly out. Actually, I need to just moisten that and it will pull up much tighter. There we go. Nice tight little knot. Trim the ends off. Now, if I remember correctly, this knot uh, it doesn't want to be at one end, it wants to be midway down through through uh, one of the loops. Now this is where it gets interesting because I can't really remember how to do this. Wind it a bit. Pop it on the hand winder. See if I can remember. This has to be roughly the same tension each side, of course. Trying to get that knot, knot at the end, knot, knot at the end, something like that. Okay, put that on there, up the winder on, and put a few turns on it. Have that. When you take the tension off, you get these little hangy down bits. How many is all a matter of uh, experience, which I don't have. So I'll put a few more wines on. The more wines you put on, the less wines you're going to have available on the motor itself. So don't go too crazy. Let's go with that as an experiment. So take that off. Now I have to fold this into thirds because I'm making three loops. And we want to get it. out there and get a better put my finger through there I want this to be about a third one two three so I'm going to put that one on there so now I've got three loops here and I want to put those loops back on to the winder I hook one on I'll get the second there we go okay so I've got three loops partially round now if it had enough winds on it it would just unwind but as you can see it's 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 now made itself up into three loops so like that okay so I've got three loops of one eighth braided together now 
in the end I'm going to put a small tube that's going to hold everything together and I'm going to make one so normally you'd make them out of aluminium but I'm going to make mine out of brass because I haven't got any aluminium okay guys I'm going to make one of these and that's what it looks like to start with a piece of brass tube or ideally uh, aluminium it's easier to work and lighter does the same function but I have to bell out each end like that and you'll see why in a minute but so how do I make it you take a screw like that we're going to use the angled top to it so we need to cut them down it looks like that and I put one in that end Obviously, if they join, if they meet, oh, put a bit of swarf in there, but there we go. They've got to be short enough as they don't touch. It goes in there. Now, like I say, they've got to be short enough so as they don't touch. You then pop them in a vise. And hopefully you'll see this. You just tighten it up. And it's starting to bell that end, look. Let's go in the other end. and stop about there and you end up with that simple as that now I'll just clean up the edges with a file make it nice and smooth you can't have any burrs on this at all because your rubber motor is going to hook around this at the end so it's got to be super smooth start getting a uh, burr in there and you're going to lose your rubber motor there we go that's how I do it it's probably more than one way but that's a nice easy way actually to do it there we go so there's two okay let's go and fit them right so here we are I'm going to choose an end and I think I'll put it up this end there's no difference between the two. OK, pull that off. So we've got that on the end. And that will go sideways through the nose block. And I'll rattle it down to the far end. Then when we're opposite the hole, I can slide. I probably won't put that dowel back in that came out because it will be too big. To... Oh, I don't know. Where... Yeah, too big to go for the brass tube. So I'll make a new one. So got that there on the end. So that will hold that nice and tight now. You can use slice off a little piece of, get a little bit of silicon tube, slice a little bit off the end and you're left with a little silicon loop, which you can, it's like a little silicon rubber band, uh, which will hold that dowel in place either side of the fuselage. So you end up with that. Which is a pretty, so. How do I get this down into the plane? Well, you just give it a little rattle or you can pull it through with a long piece of piano wire with a hook on the end. Just get it round it, pull it on down. But first of all, I'm just going to see if I can get it in there. So let's give it a go. So first of all, I have to turn that sideways like that and that just goes down through the hole like that and then rattle it on down all the way to the end I just pick up the brass tube like that and I just swap the brass tube just push in the bit of dowel right through it like that out through the other side so now this is hooked on I'll put a couple of little rubber band retainers on there if you can see that should be able to let's see if it will focus up a bit better okay so you can see it in there so they just squeeze over the bamboo just to hold that in place stops it sliding sideways 
nicely. So you've got that sort of thing going on. Just to alter the side and down first. It's made from two fibre washers, filed flat or filed to a flat on one side, and a little bit of super glue to hold it together. That goes behind the. This is a, um, a six inch prop as supplied in the kit, the D6. So that will go behind the first washer. And to change the uh, side and down first, I can just move that around. That's the theory, anyway. So, next stage, just pull that motor out and put this one on. And because I've got the uh, winding hook on the front, I shouldn't need to remove this prop again. Let's pull that silicon band right up behind it. Yeah. So that's how I make up a rubber motor born through hardly any experience, but just looking at other people's websites. So uh, let's give it a go tonight and see how we get on.